Tony Lima, the team that was also 21 under par in winning their first three matches in the first 18 of the 36 all finals. Of the second annual CBS Golf Classic. Be right there, baby. Television Sports presents the CBS Match Play Golf Classic. Brought to you by Miller High Life, the champagne of bottled beer. And by Lax Cigarettes, richly rewarding and commonly smooth. And by Citation, the aftershave with more to it than meets a man's face. And by the new economy model Polaroid Color Pack Camera. This is Jack Whittaker speaking again for the first day of the beautiful Laquina Country Club in Laquina, California. Today, Tony Lima and Bobby Nichol meet Bruce Devlin and Bob Charles in the first 18 holes of the two-day 36-all finals on the second CBS Golf Classic. To the winning team and champions of this tournament will go $50,000, and their names will be inscribed on this permanent CBS Golf Classic trophy. Now, for the past 14 weeks, we have seen 16 teams of the world's finest golfers competing for $166,000 in prize money and the right to be standing here on this first tee. Tony Lima and Bobby Nichols reached the finals from the left bracket and Bruce Devlin and Bob Charles survived the elimination in the right bracket. Today they begin the first 18 holes of a 36-hole final and two of the winners go $50,000. With us, as he has been all these weeks, to describe the action will be Dr. Carrie Middlecoff. We'll meet our four players and Carrie and get our match started in just one minute. <clears throat> Big Mayan Miller, too. You turned the house down? Of course. I think we fought. <laughs> uh, here's the plan for the rest of the night. I have four tickets to the game. But the movie is out. Oh, yes, I've been wanting to see it ever since. Oh, now, wait a minute. As long as he has four tickets, oh, we may... come on, honey. Look, uh, the movie's going to be there for a week. Why worry? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Nelson, how about it? Well... You're all in favor of Miller High Life. Enjoy life with the bright, clear tasting beer. The champagne of bottled beer. Bright, clear, sparkling. Deep down goodness with good food. For good times, good taste. Miller High Life, the champagne of bottled beer. You know, Ed, this Miller High Life really makes the meal, huh? I agree. Now, once again, here is the former Masters champion, two-time National Open champion, Ryder Cup member, match play champion from Memphis, Tennessee, Dr. Carrie Middlecock. Jack, we've waited 14 weeks for this. We are into the 36 old finals today and tomorrow of this year's Classic. And we have two teams who each are 21 under par in their advance to the finals. Yes, we do, Carrie. We have international flavor in it. Two fine teams. Let's meet them, shall we? Well... First of all, you know, they are, uh, one's going to create a little tax problem, and uh, mm -hmm. the other team's going to be a little unhappy, but well paid. But on my left, the fine foreign team from New Zealand, the 1963 British Open champion Bob Charles. His partner from down under Australia, former Australian Open champion Bruce Devlin. On the right, their opponents, British Open champion Tony Lima, PGA champion Bobby Nichols. Tony, you and Bobby had the honor, and needless to say, uh, there is no further advance. The winner is the champion. Best ball, match play, partnership. Tee up and good luck, boys. Good luck. This is the first 18 holes of a two day 36 hole final. And the first hole here at the Quinta, par four, 382 yards. On the tee now, Bobby Nichol. Oh, and he lets one rip. Oh, that's way to dance. That's a hundred well, miles right in the center. Well, that's a good tack. Perfect drive for Bobby Nichol. Yeah, and the present British Open champion, Tony Lerner. On the right edge, 
Beach may catch the rough, but it's going to be in good shape, I think. Good, Tony. Good job. Yeah. Now on the tee, the former Australian Open champion, Bruce Stefan. shots for this money. <laughs> Three of them in single file there, to the right of the pin. Teddy right, Lima to the left. As we move to the green now, all four players will be putting for birds. And you've got four great putters here. Four great golfers. Bob Charles for 33. Cutting uphill, almost a straight putt, may break a little bit to his left. Cutting for 33. Look out! Oh. That's about the only way he misses one. <laughs> the south has got Some great control of that way up. That's good. So does the right ball on his side, Jack. Now Bobby Nichols, about 25 or 30 feet. But should break a little bit to the left, putting for 33. Mm. Did not break. Bruce Devlin now, who has played so tremendously in this tournament, putting for a birdie three about 25 feet. Look out! Well, Bruce Devlin starts off the way they've been playing through this entire tournament. A tremendous birdie putt. Routine, huh? Just routine. What a nice way to be crazy when your partner's doing it. Tony Lima now, cutting from 19 feet for a birdie three to tie. Back to the wall already. Oh, he hit it too hard, Jack. That is. Well, well, yeah, Jack. As Bruce Devlin, Bruce Devlin and Charles one up at the end of this first hole. And we'll be back with more action in just a moment. Looks like these holes. This is Citation, the new aftershave from Menon, with a lot more to it than meets a man's face. There's refreshment, excitement, authority, and savoir faire to spare. Sure, Citation does kind things for a man's face, but there's more to it than that. Wear it, but watch it. There's more to Citation than meets a man's face. Citation by Menon. A man needs a man's deodorant. Menon spray deodorant. Now with new fine mist. Dries fast. No drip. No spurts. Menon spray deodorant delivers one, two, 
Three times the antiperspirant power of any other leading men's deodorant. Menon spray deodorant with new fine mist. Another good reason why, wherever you find men, you'll find Menon. The second, third, and fourth holes were half with pars. Here on the fifth tee, the match stands. Devlin and Charles, one up. It's up on our five. Dog leg to the right, out of bounds on the right. And this is for $50,000 first prize, $20,000 for the runner-up. Bruce Devlin on the tee now, and you can see the boys starting to loosen up a little bit from the early tension of a match for this money. And that is a good one. And that is long. You can reach the from there. Bob Charles now, the best left-handed player in the world. Down the left side, hooking right back into the center of the field. Nichols. His team is one down. Oh, he's hooked it. God, don't get over the trap. But it did go right in the trap, and Bobby Nichols has lost a pretty good edge. Now, Tony Lehman. He's in the right rough. He's in the right rough. He's in the right rough. I guarantee you that there has not been one time in this match that Bobby has not been in that trap and I've not been over there. Every single time. Well, that's the way the fifth hole has been going for Lima and Nichols. They're one down. We pick up the second shots here on this par five fifth hole. Bob Charles now about 270 yards from the green, laying up to the short track with the two iron. Shot, Bob. And right in the center of the fairway. Just perfect. Good smart play. At 70 yards in the green. He leaves his partner Bruce Stepney with his choice of going for the green or laying up. Now Bobby Nichols on the trap of the five man. Oh, that's a good shot. It's pretty close to the lip. Real good shot. He's no more than 80, 85 yards in the green. Tony Lima now has a fairly good line and a free swing for him. Wall wood. Wow. A little right, it may catch that trip. You gotta be kidding. That ball only got to the trap, huh? Yeah, it's not as short. 270 yards for the green. Was it really? I just really thought I hit that thing. I haven't been able to get it on the screen yet. Bruce Devlin now. And reach the screen in two. He's got a three wood about 245 yards to go. Oh, oh, oh. I'm back. It may catch the trap. No, it's the right of the trap. Right. It may be out of bounds, too. I don't very know. close, Terry. There it is. Very close to out of bounds. I think he's in bounds, but the tree may have his backswing, Jack. I don't know. Both of these teams have played excellently. 21 under par, as a matter of fact, to get into the finals. We pick up the third shots now. Bobby Nichols, about 85 yards, pitching wedge, third shot. Yeah, pretty good shot. About 15 feet for cutting for a birdie four. Now Bob Charles with a pitching wedge about 65 yards, 70 yards from the lane from the flag. Tony Lehman now has got a long explosion shot, about 40 or 45 yards. It's one of the toughest shots in golf. Yeah, he played it pretty good. He played it real good. Damn thing. Get it out of there. I thought it would roll a little. Bruce Devlin has drawn a pretty good lie and does have a free backswing. He's uh, close to out of bounds, but uh, he's only about. 75 feet from the hole, and he has enough green to pitch to. He's playing a sandwich. He would be dead there, wouldn't he? Third shot. Yeah. 
pretty good. Good shot, about 15 feet short. Tony Lima, about 70 yards after a good second shot from the right row. Oh, this is perfect. Beautiful shot. Wow. Bob Charles and Bruce Devlin, who have come a long way, all the way from their homeland down under. Bruce that money now. Devlin now has got a good bounce off of the tree to have a shot at all. He's about 50 yards and must be a little bit over the tree. Very good shot. Oh, and that's a good shot from there. Beautiful golf shot as they all have putts for birdie fours. Shot, Bob. $50,000 to the winner, $20,000 to the losers. 36 old finals. We're on the sixth hole now, the first 18, and this total prize money of $166,000 in this CBS Golf hey, Classic. Jack, we used to have to play for seven weeks to play for that much money. Uh -huh. Tony? Boy, a little too yeah, uh, so, Bobby. Care, huh? Okay. <laughs> Well, I was pretty lucky when I played. That was the most we'd ever played for. So, Ben, right in there. Tony Lehman now will be putting for Bird. They're two down. They'd love to get him. Tony's about 18 feet past the hole with a putt that is about it's straight or may break a little bit to his right. If, uh, the green actually grows in the right part of the green as he faces it to the left. Putting for 34. Lehman and Nichols are two down. Sometimes he let that hook uh, get out of control. Tony Lima now with the driver. Oh boy, look at that one hook. He snaps a hook too. He's way over near the first fairway. He may be very close to it. He's in the first fairway. Not too bad off, huh? He said I couldn't hook it. Bobby Nichols now with the driver. Big strong guy. Oh, boy. Oh, that's the name of the game, Carrie. This hole's 405 yards long, and I don't believe he's over 100 yards in the green. That's a tremendous drive. So, on this ninth hole, 
with Devlin and Charles two up, we pick up the action on their third shot. Gimmies for this kind of money, Jerry. Lima's about three and a half or four feet. Bobby Nichols about two feet. Well, that's why they don't give her. Well, I think it gives them a little more strain on your partner. That's uh, the main reason if the first man can make it, you last a little bit on this kind of match. But Bobby's about well, actually, about 20 inches running for part four. Oh, good God. Mm. Well, you just saw one of the great putters in this game. This one and Devlin and Charles go three up at the end of nine. Back in just a moment. Make the world's most personalized truck. The White Compact. White gives you personalized attention, which works with you to make your new truck exactly what you need for greatest profit. For example, we can lower the compact's frame, and you've got an easy loading beer truck. Or we can beef it up with a stronger frame and tandem axle, and you've got a high capacity milk truck. Need a special tractor to haul trailers on short runs? 
we can design a white compact for your specific needs. Snowplow, we'll give you a special front end. White's personalized attention stays by you. To make sure you get everything you need in design, performance, service, profits. White trucks for more work in less time at lower cost. Bobby Nichols have just won the first well, hole in this well, finals well, match from well, Devlin and Charles. They are seven down with 14 well, holes to play for $50,000. This 23rd hole, yeah. 502 yards long, a par five, yeah, can be reached yeah. in two. It's dog leg right with out of bounds on the right. Big fairway trap on the left. Yeah. Tony Lima's got the honor, and don't you think that yeah, doesn't give a little bit of where I was trying to round it up. Pick up Jack thing. The first time they have the honor, and certainly <coughs> they haven't played all this poorly now. These guys have just shot them right on the ground every hole. Now Tony Lee with the driver. Must skirt the right edge to reach the screen in two. A little bit too much right up the leave. Okay, so tries so damn hard to hit the ball straight in the fairway. I know it. He's over in the right rough. Bobby Nichols now, his big strong partner. Maybe they're going to get going. There you go, Bob. Down in the fairway. It wasn't his best. He hit it fairly well, but I'm, I don't know if he can reach a green in two or not. He may. Now Bruce Drab and Devlin, the deceptive strong. Man and he tore it up. He can reach the green. That's a long ways out there, Jack. Beautiful drive. You look back to the tee and you can measure yourself. There's the tee way back. Bob Charles now with the driver. He may catch that bunker. That's not hooking back in. No, he's short of the bunker. He's all right. Five? No, no, Par five hole as we move down the fairway and pick up the second shot. Tony Lima yeah, has been over on this right side on this hole. All through this weekend. He knows this territory fairly well and going with an iron. He's got a fairly good lie, but there are two big traps that guard the front left and front right of the green. And he cannot reach a green in two, so there's no reason to do anything but just lay up with a four iron. And that's perfect, right in the center of the fairway, and gives Bobby Nichols a good free go at his second shot. Now, Bob Charles, who does not have a very good line, going with a four iron, and that's pretty good. It's going to be pretty far short, but he's in good shape into the fairway, about 100 yards in the green. And Bobby will be trying for that green. He could reach it, but he'll really have to catch it solid. It's about 260 yards. Ooh, Ooh it's going to the right. There's out of bounds down there, Kerry. It may be out, too. Very close to it. Let's see. And he's just okay. in, as you see, by the out of bounds stake. About two feet from that out of bounds stake. So it's barely in his right. Fortune smiling on Eva Nichols there. Yeah. Now, Bruce Devlin with a three wood. He can reach the green. Oh, he fell to that one. I think he reached it. Beautiful golf shot on the green, a putt for an eagle three. Great strong shot by Bruce Devlin as we move down now to the green here at the 23rd hole. Lima and Charles have already played 30 shots and are on in three. Lima 15 feet away and Charles about 35 feet. Bobby Nichols now, who had a chip up over the trap. He's pretty lucky. He's about 65 or 70 feet from the hole and went right by the out-of-bounds stake, which you cannot move. However, he has enough room to take a backswing and shoot at the hole. The green is sloping slightly away from him. He's got to pitch up over the edge of the trap and has a fairly good luck. He hit it 
it nice and solid. Right on line. Yeah, it's a real good shot. Real good. Six or seven feet past it. Good shot, Bob. I had to get close with Bruce Devlin on here and going for an eagle free. It's a long way from that pin, but the way these two boys have been putting in this tournament, it's uh, not a long way off. It's about 60 feet, putting almost straight uphill, and this green has been rather slow from this angle uh, during the whole tournament. A lot of the fellows have left putts short here. I've noticed, of course, Bruce and Bob have been playing here now for several days. It looks pretty good, too. Well, it's going to be a little short. Five feet short, in fact. So, Lima and Charles have already tried for birds and missed. And this will be Bobby Nichols putting for a bird, which may be only good for a half carry with that one up there. Things have gone, Jack. I would say that he sure better make it. He's about seven feet, and he's got to put the bricks a little bit from left to right. $50,000 goes to the winner. This is the last day. We have only 14 holes to go. And Bobby Nichols and his partner, Tony Lima, are seven down. Nichols putting for birdie four. Bruce Devlin, five and a half feet from the hole. Looking for birdie four. And you made it again. Oh, boy, you got that. The third straight party for this team. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Devlin's putt is about, as I said, five or five and a half feet uphill, breaking a little bit from left to right, but it's not quite as easy as it was before Nichols made his. But he stepped on right in that place again, Jack. And the hole is half with birdies. Nine out of 14, the last 14 for Charles and Devlin. Right. We'll be back in just a moment. CBS Golf Classic, a par 5, 528 yards long, straight away, Lehman Nichols, trying to make a comeback now, have birdied the last three holes. Tony Lima grabs it right in the center of the fairway. That's where they need to be. They are seven down with 13 holes to go. Come around this way, around that way. Bobby Nichols with the driver. Another good drive. A little to the right of Lima's. Bruce Devlin now, the driver. And that might catch that trap jack right from the left. Yep. He's right up against the left. He gets kicked on the Bob Charles now, Lima and Nichols in good shape, his partner in the track. And that's, oh, that's way left. It's to the left of the track, I believe. Might be a door. Oh, I got a little. Lima and Nichols, guys, the nice par five hole. As we move down the fairway, right we'll pick up their good third tip. shots. Devlin and Charles are well short of the green in two. Lima and Nichols are very, very close to the green. This will be Bruce Devlin now, his third shot. His second shot was played with a five iron. He was close to the lip of the trap, and he's about 135 yards from the green. Boys work well as a team. They coach each other. Mm -hmm. 
down a hit once you hit the nine button. I got to hit it pretty good though. Bruce Devlin with a nine iron. He will have to hit it solid and hard. Third shot. second shots, but missed the green on this par five hole. Tony Lima is only about 45 yards from the hole, and if he or Nichols one can get close and make a birdie, they may pick up another hole. Devlin and Charles are both at least 25 feet from the hole, lane three. Tony Lima with a pitching wedge. tires for extra traction in mud. If you're new white, you can legally haul that extra half yard of concrete. Thanks. You sure solved my problem. White's personalized attention stays by you. To make sure you get everything you need in design, 
performance, service, profits. So when you buy a new truck, let White's personalized attention solve your problem. White trucks for more work in less time at lower cost. This is the 25th hole, a par 3, 185 yards across the water. Devlin and Charles amazingly still 7 up despite the fact that Lima Nichols have birdied the last four holes. Tony Lima with a 5 iron, 185 yards. Flag cut to the back right side of the green. You got us up a little, baby. Come on, beautiful shot, Tony. Come on in there. This team, very, very hot right now, not being able to chip away at this great lead of Devlin and Charles. Bobby Nichols with a fat iron. Fine looking shot, Carrie. and Lima keeping the pressure on. Bruce Devlin, former Australian Open champion for the five -hour. He has really been tough today. Hello. Little left. Whole line safely on the green. So once again, it looks like Lima Nichols. Bob Charles with a five iron. Bobby Nichols step. Oh, boy, here comes another good one. Go. Oh. Oh, oh, Teamwork Just here. With his partner, Bruce yeah. Devlin, away from the pin, Bob Charles hmm? puts it up very nicely. Yeah, Again, Liam there. and Nichols have the pressure on. Nichols very close. They might be able to pick up a hole. Bruce Devlin about 35 feet. Hold out of the left, a slight break from left to right. And we haven't seen many putts made on this screen in the whole tournament yet. Tricky. Uh, off all the way. Tony Lima, about 25 feet from the flag, three feet off the green. Chipping a little bit uphill. Championship. 92 to 24. 
USGA Junior Amateur Championship. 95 to 17, USGA Amateur Championship. 109 to 13. These official counts prove Titleist is first choice of the best amateurs. And pro shop sales prove Titleist is first choice among all amateurs. Whether played in a friendly foursome or in a deadly serious tournament, a ball with consistent performance helps lower the score. Consistent, that's the word for Titleist. Everyone performs like every other Titleist. Unvarying, precise, reliable. It's the longest ball, too. Consistently longer than any other ball you can buy. Want to better your score? Get Titleist. Sold through golf course pro shops only. The match continues here on the 26th hole. Par 4, out of bounds, left and right. Lehman Nichols of the honor. Tony Lima has just driven a little bit to the left. Shot over the trap. Over the trap. So, trap. But he's in the rough. Well, he's that far today? Not too bad. Not pretty good place. Today. These two boys are seven under and seven down, Jerry. It's pretty fast, isn't it? Bobby Nichols now driving with a three wood. Out of bounds left and out of bounds right. That's a little left. Oh, get over there. Nichols is on the left rough, and I think he's all right in now. Bruce Devlin with a driver. Oh, he's downtown with that one, Jack. Mm -hmm. That's going out of bounds. It's almost in Australia. Oh. And a little break here again for Lima Nichols. Bob Charles driving with a two wood. I himself now as partner. OB. There it goes down the left edge, hooking back in, and another good one. Oh. Come on, it's yeah, all right. right. Steady Bob Charles, playing two against one on this hole now. Lehman Nichols, seven down with 11 holes to go. But a little daylight here as Bruce Devlin is out of the hole. Back in the shot. Seven That's a lovely dump, Oh, my goodness, a shot. Seven, Bob, where do you think, Gary? Did you hit that real big? Uh, it, I, just, I hit it pretty good. Got to get it up there. I don't think you can hit a six. Is that right? Well, it comes out pretty quick. Tony Lima, 145 yards in the flag with a seven iron. <clears throat> Bobby Nichols, from 150 yards, hit his seven iron. Like six feet right. short of the hole. Second shot.
himself, Tony's but break right, but it must not look like it to him. And it's tough this looking the match when you're down. When you're down. Seven down with eleven to go. But a little doubtful. He's trying to get the fuzz he thought, Jack. Because there's not much room for error this late in the match. Putting, putting for 33 and a chance to pick up a hole. That looks pretty good. One. Good. No. Oh. Identification. Well, that's fresh. She's 